Hello and welcome to this video on computer programming with Python. Now we're going to be using Python 3.10 and I use a uh, PyScriptor as my environment. Now this lesson I'm going to be introducing lists or arrays. Now in Python, uh, unfortunately, there's no such thing as an array, not at the level uh, that you'll be doing at GCSE, but uh, in this instance, we're going to be calling it lists. Now, a list is a data structure that you can actually create so that you can have multiple people, multiple items, all right, in a structure. For example, if I were to work at a zoo, I might say animals equals, and I can open up my brackets and I can say lion and tiger, uh, bear, monkey and let's go for an owl and a zebra okay so we've got a we've got a data structure set up here now what we can do is we can actually swap in and out some of these pieces of data so unlike uh whereas with a string you may have had uh name equals raymond and you may have wanted to pick an individual letter out. So you could have said print name and printed the first letter. All right. This is slightly different in that each item is separated by the comma. And let me just show you how this works. If I wanted the first item in my list, all I would do is go print okay, animals square bracket zero. Now that's going to print the very first item in my list. So if I run that, that would print lion. And I'm going to make sure that that's a capital letter just for consistency, okay? Uh, if I wanted to print out another one, so print animals, square brackets, zero, one, two, three, four. We're gonna go for four because we want the L. And I'm going to run that. And that would print out the lion and the L. Notice with arrays that the index starts at zero. If I wanted the length, I could work out the len. So we're going to go print len animals. Notice that it starts counting from one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's run that. So you can see the length is six. All right. That you will need to think about later on when we start combining lists with loops so please bear that in mind so the first thing we've got here is a list now you define it by just giving it a variable name so i said animals equals now to define what is in it all you do is use your square brackets and each item that goes inside it is in speech marks uh, if it's a string if it is a list of numbers so we're going to say uh, ages equals uh, four, five, six, seven, eleven, thirty-six, nineteen. No, notice they're all a single data type. All right, so please just bear that in mind. Now, there are ways that you can set up an empty list if you want. What you could do is you could say empty list equals. We're going to go for that. So that would set that up. All right. So there are ways where you can do that. Or if you wanted to, you could actually put the items in it, such as none, and you can multiply it by 10, and that will create the array with 10 nuns inside it, okay? So that's one thing that you can do. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can replace things and how you can also add to the end of a list. So I'm just going to come out of here, and if I was to print out the full animals here, so I'm going to run that, and you see I've got lion, tiger, bear, monkey, owl, zebra, okay? If I want to add another item, so I'm going to say, uh, we're going to say new animal equals input, please say which animal you would like to add. Okay, so we're going to add to the list, all right? Now, what I can do is I can say animals, 
dot. And you can see when you use the dot, in this case, it's got like an IntelliSense on it. And I'm going to say append, and I'm going to say new animal. So whatever I've typed in here will be appended to the end of the list. And if I was to print this out again, so print animals, all right, and I'm going to run it, what animal do we want? So we've got a lion, tiger, bear, monkey, owl, zebra. Why don't we go for a hippo? And you now see that hippo is added to the end of the list. So what we can do is we can use dot append to add that to the end of the list, all right? Now there are other things that we can do. I'm only doing a single list for this video. You can do multi-dimensional lists or multi-dimensional arrays. But again, you really want to combine the use of those with loops, which I've not taught yet, but this is a basic skill. Now, you might want to replace particular items in your list, all right? So what I could then do, maybe I don't want a tiger anymore. Maybe I want to, uh, we've got, we've just added a hippo there, but maybe I want to go animals, all right? So we're going to say uh, animals, and you can pick the position you want, animals one equals and you can put the new animal and it will replace that. So animals one, we are going to say uh, giraffe and we're going to print animals again. So I'll get my new item. So we're going to run it. And as with programming, the sequence at the moment has the list as it's set up. We're going to add another hippo in there. But we replaced the tiger by putting in the word giraffe in position one. What I could also do is if I wanted to, I could then change the owl. So I'm going to run that again. Uh, and we're going to add a hippo in again at the end. And you'll notice that this time, I've by changing the index, the position, it replaces the owl in the list. So that is a kind of basics of how you can add items to a list, how to set up your list, and how you can look at the different positions similar to what we did in the string video. I will show you how to create a list that has got two items per row um, and how to set that out. So we will do that in another video. But that is just how to append to the list, how to change the item in the list, all right? And that should help you just start to understand the data structure of a list slash array. Now, one thing you will notice about these is I couldn't put a number in there, all right? Because often, all right, when you try and work with them, so I'm gonna say hippo, all right? That is a bad practice. So you, what I'm trying to say is realistically with arrays, you shouldn't mix up your data types. Try to keep them the same. It's just good practice. There are other ways to use different data types. If I'm honest, um, there are other more uh, efficient ways of doing this, which will appear in other videos.